Material vollzählig angetreten? Alles da, Chef. Gut, ich bin auch soweit. Fangen wir an. Und zur Inspiration wie immer. Musik. Den hat doch wohl der Fisch gebissen. Das ist Wagen, ein Menschenskind. Wagen ist der Lockenrupf mit der Hakennase. Der eignet sich alles, was er will, aber für groß viel zu Objekt und so weiter mit dem. Ba, 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 ba. Friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it, um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but. Um, you never know. Sitzen Sie jetzt besser? Viel besser. Gut, viel besser. Ähm, wir haben etwas sehr Merkwürdiges aufzuklären. Etwas sehr Merkwürdiges? Der Tesla-Bot, ein Roboter in Menschengestalt, der gefährliche und monotone Arbeiten übernehmen soll oder auch auf Zuruf Alltägliches wie die Einkäufe erledigt. Schon nächstes Jahr soll die Sci-Fi-Vision in Form eines Prototypen Realität werden. Der Schlüssel liegt laut Musk in Teslas Forschung an der künstlichen Intelligenz selbstfahrender Autos. If you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Live auf der Bühne gab es zwar nur einen Schauspieler im Roboterkostüm, doch Musk denkt schon über eine Zukunft nach, in der Roboter den Menschen alle niederen Arbeiten abnehmen. What happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, das ist, warum ich denke, dass es eine universelle universal basic income gibt. Aber nicht jetzt, weil das Robot nicht funktioniert. Also, wir brauchen einen Moment. Also, ja, aber ich denke, essentially in der Zukunft wird die physische Arbeit eine Wahl sein. Da ist es nur logisch, dass der Tesla-Chef gleich noch Befürchtungen entgegentritt. Seine Roboter könnten versuchen, die Weltherrschaft an sich zu reißen. We're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it, um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's, uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light yeah, anyway, five miles an hour, you can, if you can get run past it, that would be fine. Ha, 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 ha.
Wenn das so ist, kann ja nichts mehr schiefgehen. So it's a, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light, yeah, anyway, five miles an hour. You can, if you can get run past than that, be fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's a, around, around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it, so it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and um, yeah. Uh, the full self-driving computer, and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is, can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, line-by-line uh, -line instructions. Um, can, you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt um, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think we can do that. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, this I think will be quite, quite profound because if you say, like, what is the economy? It is, uh, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now, because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> so um, yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor, uh, then um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. Um, so, yeah. Join our team and help build this. All right, so I think we'll, we'll have everyone come back on the stage and you guys can ask questions if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.